harnessing the sun. It's an idea that's been around for a long time. In 1839, French physicist Edmond Becquerel observed that an electric current is produced when two treated metal plates are submerged in liquid and exposed to light. This became known as the photovoltaic effect, power from light. For the next 125 years, scientists made key discoveries and refinements that increased how much of the sun's energy gets converted into usable electricity. The space program, in particular, using solar panels developed by companies like Mitsubishi Electric, helped push solar panel technology to a point where commercial and private applications have finally become viable. Join us now as we follow the story of an old company taking on a new idea in a solar harvest. The Limonera Company has been growing lemons and other citrus fruits for more than 116 years. They are the largest lemon producer in North America and the largest avocado producer in the United States. They are also a large energy consumer. Using solar to generate a third of their power underscores a commitment to sustainable business practices that customers are noticing. And specifically what we're seeing is greater patronage for our products, more loyalty for our products, and in some cases, P uh, our customers are beginning to pay a premium for our products because they're produced in a sustainable way. After several years of research, the Limonera team began looking for a solar integrator who not only understood the mechanics of installing large arrays, but who also could provide financial guidance. They had a little different look on it, a little bit of a different look from a financial perspective. Now we've been exploring solar arrays with many different people, but they just bring a project and really weren't looking at it financially. Perpetual Power helped us look at it from a financial model, and it was really that financial model that Perpetual Power helped us make the decision where we did and when we did. And despite needing to remove trees to make room for the array, the decision also made sense environmentally. The array will sequester 32,000 tons of CO2 over a 25 year period. And that's more than the 600 trees that would have been there otherwise. Once committed to the idea of building their own solar orchard, Limonera hired Perpetual Power, a company that brings together professionals with years of experience in finance, real estate, and solar technology. Motivation behind starting this company was based upon uh, my partner Paul Townsend and I's dream to realize that bringing finance and relationships and real estate together with technology and green experience uh, will really make a wonderful product suite in the solar environment in today's California energy market. This green experience included using solar panels that were manufactured using environmentally friendly processes. Mitsubishi is the first PV manufacturer that uh, came out with 100% lead-free solder modules. Uh, and most of all, uh, our modules has high performance and it's well known and proven to have high performance. And that means that for every watt of power that's being installed, you get more kilowatt hour out of it. During preliminary planning, it became clear the first challenge was not just logistical. Well, I think the challenge is, is uh, to be relevant, to do something that uh, you know, adds value to the community, adds value to the customer, that isn't me too, that isn't kind of part of the solar chorus, that actually is advancing the state of the art by various means. This added value includes providing clean energy to the community by sending unused power back into the local grid and the amount of energy is potentially substantial given the sheer size of the array. The project is going to end up being 6,384 um, Mitsubishi 185 modules. Um, it's pretty much exactly a megawatt AC, which is uh, 
as far as government rebates and incentives go, it's the cap in the state. It's going to end up being one of the largest privately owned systems in California. After carefully determining the placement of the array, the Perpetual Power team went to work designing a unique ground-based system that would not compete with the natural beauty of the area. All the parts were crafted out of high-quality aluminum, and most, such as the long rails that formed the tracks to hold the solar panels, were custom-designed for durability and the best strength-to-weight performance possible. CNC machining of critical parts ensures a perfect fit. Speeding installation in the field, along with maintenance and adjustment. Skilled craftsmen complete several of the key manufacturing stages, such as punching holes for joining rails, welding support brackets, countersinking hinges, and bending module frame brackets. All the while, measurements are checked to ensure quality. Meanwhile at the site, a tractor clears five acres of lemon trees that were at the end of their productive life. It's now up to on-site project manager Brett Turner to finally tune an installation schedule that efficiently brings an array of people and parts together. Our basic building block for this entire array is what we call a four by one panel. When we say panel, it means four modules is our terminology for it. Shipments of panels and substrate parts from Livermore arrive on a tightly timed schedule and are temporarily stored in a nearby warehouse. Forklifts and Ingenuity then move parts into the array site. A select group of local college students interning at Limanera serve as the skilled labor force that assemble the array. So we're moving at a fairly quick pace. Uh, we're panelizing in the field uh, just to be closer and not have to uh, worry about the materials handling aspect of getting these awkward panels um, from our work area down here. So basically we have uh, three stations of two people that are panelizing these four by one panels and then um, a few people who are carrying them into place and, and bolting them into place as we go. To maximize their power generation potential, most solar arrays in the Northern Hemisphere need to be facing due south. It's a directly north-south square. We had a professional surveyor from Ventura come in and give us some of these points, um, that being one of them, the wooden stake with the pink on it. And we uh, taped off the rest, got some pin flags, and all the green ones are where our stones go. And that was the first thing, uh, basically, that we did. The stones showed up. We wheeled them right down here and muscled them into place. This is our substrate. And uh, I showed you our basic building block being uh, four modules, uh, one row. That actually goes onto uh, these rails. And one of these rails called a cord, or two sets of rails, I should say, will hold five four by one panels that will be interconnected to eight other blocks of 20 to form our biggest building block here of 160 modules complete. The electrical output of the modules is carefully routed underground in conduit to above ground combiner boxes. It then continues on to a nearby building that houses the inverters that convert the DC to usable AC current. Construction of the building itself began shortly after work on the array. It was designed and built to exacting LEED certification standards, a certification only given to buildings that meet strict energy and environmental requirements. The building also serves as a visitor center with a rooftop viewing area and a green roof that features the area's natural vegetation. The grand opening in October of 2008 garnered media attention and accolades from leaders from around the state. Our new president in Congress, businesses and individuals all share a new commitment to diversifying our energy sources. And real incentives are now in place for solar development. In the closing weeks of 2008, Congress passed an eight-year extension of the Solar Investment Tax Credit 
that gives a 30% federal tax deduction for both new commercial and residential solar installations. State tax credits, rebates, and low interest loans now make choosing solar a very attractive option. It's interesting that uh, the, with the current state of the economy that uh, California really needs to bring, come together uh, with the price of energy. We see it at the pump, we see it on our utility bills, and by providing clean, green energy to the utilities so they can pass it around to our customers is a profitable business enterprise.